It is, of course, unrealistic that you're going to know absolutely everything that's going to happen in the course of a time study. That's why the timer probe back over here in row 25, you can add like unexpected elements uh, available, one through, in this case, 10. These are keywords, the word available followed by the number here. And we recognize that in the data collection program. So that, for instance, let's say we're starting the, uh, the data recording. So I'm going to hit the, uh, the start button here and start the time study again. Right, so he's getting the work order, and then he's walking to storage. And of course, then we'd expect them to do something, you know, like get part medium. But let's say that he doesn't do that. He does something unexpected. So we can touch on the unexpected here. And that brings up the available 1 through 10 that you see here. And then what you do, you basically select one here. And let's just say you had to clear the area. So we can tap in here, and then you can just type in clear area. Clear, and then the area. Right, so we've added this one here, and we put that in there, click on the OK, and that's added to my options in the unexpected area, you can see it right here. And then we can just click on the clear area, and it changes that to say unexpected clear area down at the bottom here. So you're actually recording the time against that particular activity. Once we time that, perhaps it goes back into it again, he gets the medium part, and so on, and continues on there. So this is the use of the unexpected that you see here. And you can have up to 10 here, and you can have many, many different places where you can have available 1 through 10. So really, you can add an unlimited number of unexpected elements to your time study.